we want to evaluate each expression using the order of operations and then verify on the graphing calculator. Looking at our first expression here, we have negative five squared minus five squared. It may be more clear if we say negative five squared minus positive five squared. In fact, if we want to, we can rewrite this as negative five squared minus positive five squared. So following the order of operations, we would simplify the exponents. So negative five squared means negative five times negative five, which is positive 25. And here, positive five squared is equal to five times five, also 25. So we have positive 25 minus positive 25, which equals zero. So our expression is equal to zero. Checking on the calculator, we have negative five in parentheses, squared minus five squared, which equals zero. Looking at our next expression, there are no operations that we can perform inside the parentheses, so step two, we simplify the exponents. So we'll simplify negative two raised to the third, which is negative two times negative two times negative two, which equals negative eight. So the given expression is equal to four times negative eight times six divided by three. Notice we have multiplication and division left, which is step three, so we just multiply and divide from left to right. So four times negative eight is equal to negative 32. So you have negative 32 times six divided by three. Multiply again, negative 32 times six is equal to negative 192. We're gonna divide this by three, which is equal to negative 64. So this expression is equal to negative 64. And now we'll check on the calculator. So we have four times negative two raised to the third, right arrow, times six divided by three, which verifies our work. Looking at our next expression, we first wanna simplify the exponents here negative seven squared equals negative seven times negative seven or positive 49. So the given expression is equal to 49 minus nine divided by three times four. We have subtraction, division, and multiplication. So our next step is to multiply and divide from left to right. Working our way from left to right, here we have positive nine divided by positive three, which is positive three. So we have 49 minus three times four. Multiplying and dividing from left to right. Next we have three times four, which equals 12. So we have 49 minus 12. Of course, for the last step we subtract, 49 minus 12 equals 37. I'm going to the calculator. Open parenthesis, negative seven, close parenthesis squared minus nine divided by three times four and enter. Now we have one more expression. First step, simplify the exponents. Be careful here, this is minus positive seven squared. Positive seven squared is 49. So in our first step we have negative 20 divided by five times eight minus 49 we have division, multiplication, and subtraction. So step three, we multiply and divide from left to right. So we perform this division first. Negative 20 divided by five equals negative four. So negative four times eight minus 49. Still multiplying and dividing from left to right. Negative four times eight is equal to negative 32. So we have negative 32 minus 49. So subtracting, we have negative 81. Back to the calculator, negative 20 divided by five times eight minus seven squared does equal negative 81. I hope you found this helpful.